Wow, so many amazing foods. But you know, it's really the spices and the herbs that actually can make a difference with such a simple dish. Today's dish we're using bangers and mash, but we're going to spice it up with some cinnamon. So let's you and I first go shopping and we'll come back and the chef will teach us how to make this. For so many of these dishes we've been needing cream. Yep, that's right, I've been the one whipping it. So, we're gonna go for this. Um, you know, if you're gonna make it for a lot of people, then go for the big container and then separate it, make a dessert or something else. Um, these are, oh, I always find it really hard to use these, but sometimes it's hard to actually buy a small container of it. You cannot freeze cream, even before it's whipped. So. Basically, if you're going to buy one of these, think of half a dozen dishes that you can use it in. I'm sure the chef could think of a few, so we'll grab that. Okay, so we've got these sweet peas. These are uh, basically to finish it off. So we've got these, yummy. Um, and then we're also going to use some of these uh, sausages. Now, you've got... Here we go, some beef sausages. Actually, the chef has made some amazing sausages back at the hotel. But if you don't have the chance to get these, you could actually use these, either the beef sausages or you could go for the pork sausages. He's used pork to make his sausages, um, but I think whatever one you prefer, you could both get. So I'm going to grab my beef sausages. Okay, now we've just got to get one more ingredient. Okay, so we've actually got different types of uh, forms of cinnamon that we can buy. We've got this in the powder form and then the stick form, okay? We're using the uh, cinnamon that is commonly used in Western cooking and it's actually, you can tell very easily, it's quite thin, um, whereas the Chinese one is actually a thick sort of a large piece of bark looking um, cinnamon. So it's, it's actually quite different. I think the flavours actually do take you know, vary quite a bit too. Um, but throughout this week, we're going to be using these two different types of cinnamon. Grab them. Okay, so we've got all our ingredients in front of us. Now, these are the fabulous sausages, Absolutely. right? Okay, so these are actually made by you. Yeah. Completely. And there's cinnamon inside it. Yeah, there's cinnamon and some other herbs. There's a bit of cardamom, there's a bit of allspice mix. Okay. There's garlic, there's parmesan cheese, there's okay. chopped uh, bacon. Uh -huh. So there's all, all, all the saltiness comes from other ingredients. There's, there's no actual salt in it. Right, okay. Yeah. So what do we need to start this dish then? Okay, well, we are going to first poach the sausage very slowly in, uh, in water, not boiling, okay. otherwise we'll break them. So, um, why poaching? I've never known to poach a sausage. Um, well, you can fry them uh, directly, but the problem is this is 100% meat content. So when you, uh, if you put them directly into the pan, they'll burst. So that's why you poach them first, so they don't break when you fry them. Ah. So that's, the, that's the idea. Okay, so uh, I know we're just stunned up, but there's a question for our audience, and that is, what is the outside skin that keeps the sausage together. What is it actually that they're using? Let's see if our audience knows the answer. That's gut. Well, it can be it can be synthetic, but normally it's gut. It's from an animal's inside, from their intestine. What I know is they use the like any more intestine, for example, like pork or chicken. But what I know, I right. think a lot of people don't know this the sausage and even the ones that you buy in the market. Yeah. What is the outside skin that's it's keeping it together? It's an intestine. It's intestine. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do now? Whilst that's cooking, right. is there anything I can start to do? Yeah, we can uh, start reheating the, uh, the the mash. So we use the sweet mash. So this, okay. is, this is the sweet potato. Sweet potato, yes. Yeah, it's, been, uh, it's been steamed yes. and then afterwards it's been mashed. So yep. here's the, uh, the final result. Yep. We're going to have a little bit of infusion of cream. Okay. So we'll put the cream in first. Now, you're talking Asian flavours. Could I have used coconut milk? Yeah, you can, but uh, maybe a bit too much. Really? Yeah. I think. Too, like too strong, you think? Yeah, too or? strong, because it'll, it'll overpower everything else. In the, oh, in the... okay. And we've got some lemongrass. Okay. Yeah, well, the lemongrass has been pounded before, because you always have to... Bring out the flavours. Exactly. Okay. So, we'll so put that in. cream, I want to keep that temperature down. Yeah, you just, you just, just want to infuse it. You don't want to... 
Okay, now need to make sure that the sausage is almost cooked inside. So when you say Asian, we're talking more Southeast Asian with these yeah. sort of flavors. Yeah. Then. Okay, bangers and mash. Are, honestly, they're from England. They are. Yeah. And we're incorporating Asian flavors. Has this ever been done before? I don't know. Probably not. Okay, it's no, a very a, strange concept. As a as a vegetable, because you want something crispy with it. Yes. We do uh, we do the sugar snap peas, so which are just... called. Sugar snap peas. Uh, no, but we we Snow call peas. these um her, these are called herlando. Oh really? You know, so they're the. I haven't uh, been here long enough no, for that. Okay, all right. <laughs> well, they're so we'll Holland just... Holland peas. Right? <laughs> Holland so peas. Yeah, there oh we really? Go. Yep. Okay. Maybe they were famous there first. So we're going to put them in there. Yeah. Yep. One pan dish, you know, Easy. love it. <laughs> yeah, this is really comfort food, so you don't want to make it too uh, okay too compl complicated. All right, later on, uh, maybe we'll explain that. We'll put a little bit of a tomato chutney with it. Mm. This is a tomato chutney, really simple uh, sugar, a little bit of white wine vinegar, ginger, yep. Yep. and then onion and tomato, and then cook it down reduce, with reduce, uh, reduce. with brown sugar. You can see now, if you have a look here, that the uh, yeah. you, can, you can still see the intestine yes. being all natural. Normally, yes. you, you also have sausages with... Uh, Plastic. Uh, yeah, outside. yeah, and it, it's just not the same flavor also. Okay. So, all we need to do now is wait for this to finish, yep. to up, and then this we're going to keep it even lower yep. heat, and then we're going to come back and then we're going to finish doing the yes. sausage dish. Okay, what do you want me to do with this? Take okay, out the... yeah, take it out. Like all of it or just yeah, the lemongrass? Yeah, all of it, all of it, because oh. you don't want to eat it, you just want to have the flavour. So take out the lemongrass. Yes. Only, only the lemongrass. Yeah. Okay. Number one. In the meantime, I'm going to take the sausages out. Okay. Me too. Okay. Okay, now the beans are almost done. And then we're going to start frying, frying the sausage. You can put the uh, mash now inside. Oh, the... inside this? Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, I thought this was being sourced. Yeah. You can put that inside. Yep. Okay, and do I heat it up again? Yeah, you just warm it through, but don't boil anymore. This one's done. Yeah. Okay, but now what we have to do is we have to pierce the sausage to make sure because it's uh, uh, it's a handmade sausage. Yes. It's not with the machine, so there's some air pockets inside. Okay. So we just pierce it like this. Uh huh. Otherwise, it will explode when you fry it. You definitely don't want that. No. Okay, so now the okay, sausages are ready to go. Again, we're going to be careful with the heat, not, not to make it too, otherwise it will burst. Nice. Just seeing if it was okay. Yeah. Mm. Tasting is important. So. Um, it's got no salt in it, but no. you know what? It's amazing, the flavour with the lemongrass in it. It's just... It's nice, huh? It's just creamy, but it's fresh, it, even because you've got the Does it need salt? It. You can put more salt. I don't know, I kind of like it without okay. it. Thank you for reminding me. So we've already got cinnamon inside the sausage. Put a little but bit But now in we're here. just going to add that little bit of flavour. And also, obviously... A little bit of fresh thyme while you're cooking Obviously, it. we're using Renee sausages, but actually, if you're getting nice uh, sausages from the supermarket, then you yep. would definitely need the cinnamon in the oil, because that's where you're going to get all the flavour. Okay. <laughs> All right, we have the beans here. Yep. The beans, we're going to put, they're already cooked, we're going to put a little bit of butter. Just Butter is always good. I can see people screaming, all those health fanatics out there screaming. You can put a bit of olive oil on it, salt and mm. pepper. That's also fine if you're French or um, Dutch. Dutch. Um, the Dutch love... Uh, we like butter. You like butter? Well, I mean, yes, that's olive what I was going to say. Yeah, French and Dutch. Um, even the Danish like butter too. They're of very, they love it. Yeah, but this is uh, almost done. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're going to start plating. Yes. So, what would you like to spoon? start with? My fabulous Let we, sweet potato, lemongrass. Absolutely. Is it warm? Yes. Yes, okay. absolutely. This is a rustic dish. I won't Nothing take fancy. For the whole dish. No. Okay, now we're going to do the sausages. One. So we put two or one enough? You should definitely put two. Mm, I think so. Like that. Then we're gonna put the vegetables on there. Big, nice balanced meal here. 
you, know, you don't pick out, but you enjoy the just fabulous flavors and different food that you maybe yep. wouldn't always eat. And um, that's why I like Sunday brunch because you go to that little bit, you know, of extra effort. That's it. Yep. Okay, fabulous. We've definitely got to try this. Okay, so let's try it. Yes. Go ahead. Do you want to do the others? Or? Yeah, why not? I'd love to get stuck into a, one of these sausages. You get the cinnamon, but again, not the overpowering. Mm. They are the best sausages. Oh, they're fantastic. The cinnamon, again, is not a feature, mm. but... There's also cinnamon in the chutney a little bit. So oh, sure. yeah. Well, I'm proud of myself. I have done an outstanding job with this one. Fantastic. <laughs>